Fingerless Kitchen. Today, I'm here in Baldwinsville, New York at the restaurant The Chef and the Cook, and we're here to challenge Chef Jason Jessmore and Chef Mark Germano to the No Thumbs Challenge. Today, we're actually going to be working on some crostinis back in their kitchen. So what we're going to do is, if you follow me, we're going to go in the kitchen, get started, and see how it goes today. All right, so now we're back here in the kitchen with Mark Germano and Jason Jessmore, and we're about to start our No Thumb Chef Challenge. And so what we're going to do today, guys, is I'm going to tape up your hands so you've only got pinkies like me, and your simple task today is to grate or slice cheese. Today we're going to actually be doing some crostini with membrillo, serrano ham, and a little bit of onion pickle on top. And we're going to, of course, melt some of this lovely stuff on the crostinis. All right, guys, any questions for me before we get started? Not yet. What I find is I end up having to use my body a lot to get things done in the kitchen. I might be using that technique today. <laughs> <laughs> How many pieces do we need? Um, I, I think whatever you're comfortable doing. I think I have about eight crostinis over there. And so, here's what I do, guys. I actually use my, my bra. You're putting us at I'm, a disadvantage. <laughs> I use my bra to kind of hold things. I forgot to explain to that. <laughs> what are you finding most difficult besides not having your thumb? Uh, just my hands. <laughs> so now... How would you think working in this kitchen all day would go if you had to do things really slow to take your time and things were flying all over the place? Where's Tyler? We gotta ask yeah. him. <laughs> uh, pretty bad. Yeah. But I'm curious to try different things now. Yeah. I'm well, past the cheese. We are. I accomplished the cheese. We're gonna let Mark give it another couple of seconds. I didn't realize we were gonna wait on Mark all day. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you would like. Actually, I'm going to bring this over because we're going to put some crostinis on this. So, would you guys put some, some little breads on there? My tweezer game is definitely going to be 
You know, this this really builds up the strength in your pinkies. I didn't realize my pinky needs to strengthen now. It does. <laughs> Perfect sizes. Nice. So what we've got the Emmental, the Buddha, and some of this Toscano in the Shirak. Alright. So we're gonna get these in the oven. Oh wait, he's getting more cheese. Because you gotta have a lot of cheese, right? That's at least my thing. You know what this is for? Like for me, this is like having a charcuterie, like yeah. a cheese a cheese tray. Oh, come on, guys! You gotta very carefully put that in the oven. That's, I, we use our feet a lot to open up and close. <laughs> and close. Yeah, but we're on camera. I don't want. Yeah. To <laughs> Yeah. Or my hands. 
Or sometimes we just skip the whole thing. Well, can, can I tell you what's really hard for me, though? Yeah. And this is not in a kitchen. It's actually when I go out to a restaurant and it's got a um, salad bar. Because a lot of the salad bars don't have a place to put your plate. Oh, yeah. So I could stand there like this at the salad bar and hope that it jumps into my plate. Right? Because every salad bar has got a lot of these and they're very big. Yeah. So obviously my hand yeah. doesn't do that. So I can just... I mean, these are a little easier smaller but the yeah. other big ones stuff. Well that's why I, I like smaller stuff because they work better for my hands but salad bars are really hard for me to do and so if anybody's ever going to a salad bar with me I need your help. I will hold the plates if you do the... It works out. If you do, okay. Tag team. I'm here to prove that you never needed them. <laughs> 